They say it's the little things that count. And today we have a new little thing in the Tanium console that I think you might like a lot. Welcome back to GoTanium Tech Talks. I'm your host, Ashley McGlone, and we have a cool new trick to show you in the console today. That's the favorite part of this show is showing you these uh, innovations that we come up with. And, and today, it's, it's not like this massive innovation. It's a little thing that I think is going to make a big difference in your workflow. And I know I'm teasing this. Uh, I, I will make the reveal here in just a second. But before we do, I've got a couple announcements for you. So... Uh, Converge has been uh, announced officially. If you go to converge.tanium.com, you'll see that we're going to be live in person in Austin, Texas this year, November 14th through the 17th. And what I'd like you to do is go out to that converge.tanium.com page. And I know many of you that watch this show are, you are creators and you have built some clever solutions using Tanium. You've heard me talk about this in the past, how we love to see what you've built. Uh, we even had a guest recently on the show who was a customer who built some stuff with Tanium and he got to present that at Converge. We would like you to have that opportunity as well. So scroll down that Converge page where it says speak at Converge, click that button and send us a session proposal. We would love to hear from you. And and uh, if, if nerves uh, get to you when you're speaking to people, don't worry about it. We'll coach you through it. You'll be fine. But we would really like to see uh, what you've got to share with us that you've built with Tanium. Um, also, we've got a hands-on hunting uh, virtual lab coming up June 21st. So go to tanium.com slash events and check that out. It's a four hour virtual lab with our threat response module. And if you want to get in on that, that's going to be a fantastic hands-on learning opportunity. So, so that's enough announcements for now, but today we have a special guest on the show, Andy Nortrup. He was on the show previously talking about API Gateway, which was some really cool technology that allows you to query Tanium offline data, right? So that you can populate that into your apps and make them go faster and be better and smarter with that real-time Tanium data. So he's back with us today. Andy, welcome back to the show. Nice to be here. Uh, always excited to like get on and talk about the fun things that we're doing. It's a great microphone for us to, to get stuff out. I love it. Yeah. Well, tell me more about API Gateway. Since we last spoke, have there been any uh, updates that our audience would like to see? Yeah. So right now we are in the middle of releasing a, a 1.3 version. That I think that's going to be showing up for our cloud customers probably before this episode drops. Uh, and we'll hopefully get out to our on-prem customers uh, maybe about the same time. And the 1.3 release has um, a couple of great new features. Uh, our strategy for each release the gateway is to put in a new data source, uh, make it easier to get a, a new kind of data from the Tanium platform and sort of bring that into our structured data model. And also to make it easier for partners and customers to build and integrate on the gateway. So on the data side this time, we're adding sensors from our risk and our compliance modules. This has been a huge ask from a lot of our partners, a lot of our customers who say, hey, I need to make these risk-based decisions. I need to understand what the compliance posture of these endpoints is when I'm trying to do zero trust, when I'm trying to do uh, just general decision-making. So we put both of those module data sources into the schema. That's going to make them really easy to get access to that data. Integration, ease of use, and like things that you can do to manage Tanium side of things, uh, you're going to be able to rotate your API keys. So now that once you set up that integration, you bootstrap it with its initial uh, API key, you can program your integration to say, hey, um, this API key is good for two weeks uh, at 10 days. Why don't you go and rotate that API key automatically? So things just keep running and you have the, the value of short credentials, but also um, the automation of replacing your credentials as you go along and not having to not having to build those, you know, do that manual work to keep your credentials in line. Uh, that is very nice. Yep. Very nice. And then, you know, I, I think this is something folks will really like uh, in our integrator community is you can now use the API gateway to register a sensor for collection by TDS uh, and also understand all of the 
sensors that are available. So if you've built a partner integration or you just have uh, an internal integration that you've built with Tanium, uh, you, as part of standing up the integration, you can say, hey, uh, is the sensor I need from core content available? Has core content been installed? Say like, I need that registered in TDS so that it's always collected. It's part of our continuous harvest process. And that's just gonna give them so much assurance to make sure everything is there, make sure that they're set up for success. Uh, and I think it's gonna make our integrators a lot more uh, consistent and a lot lower touch on what they have to do to make the, make the gateway and their integrations work. That's just so good news. I'm super already. excited about it. Yeah. Wow. Uh, get better, better every release. And, and so that brings us to uh, this release, little, little tiny drum roll on the desk here. This is, this is not a big announcement. It's a little announcement that that's going to have some significant impact as this feature grows. And to our audience, I've heard about this internally and I look forward to one day being able to show this to you. And uh, quite honestly, I just kind of, I'd heard about it months and months and months ago and I hadn't heard anything. I just thought it had kind of fallen off, but no, Andy reached out and said, Hey, I've got something fun to show your crowd. So uh, let's hear it, Andy. What's, uh, what are we talking about today? Yeah. So we're introducing a new feature to the console, which is called Tanium Feed. We're calling it Tanium Feed. Uh, that's uh, might change that, but I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to call it. Um, and Tanium Feed is really taking one of the things we're really proud of at Tanium, I, I think, is the level of support that our TAMs are able to provide to customers. And we have so much knowledge across the customer base uh, and the TAMs that are engaging and helping solve problems with their customers. And when we see a really great practice, either from a customer or something that a customer has asked them to build for us, we want to share that really wide. Uh, and we also want to help customers respond really quickly to issues that are happening in the world, like the, the pace of zero days and the pace of critical vulnerabilities just seems to get faster every day. And we wanted to make sure that we were given that information as fast as humanly possible to all of our customers, um, and especially customers who are now in, uh, you know, on our support center model, which is working out really great for them. But they don't, you know, we don't have somebody who can come and set up a meeting with them and tell them, hey, did you see the new zero day? Did you see the community article? Uh, and now we're going to be able to inject that information directly into the console and give you really targeted information about what you can be doing in feed. So this is our demo environment and you'll see this bell uh, and it's got a six next to it and that is new information. Uh, that's a new thing. So if you press that, it is going to slide out this notification tray. Um, and I like this tray because you can keep, you know, if you see something come up, you can keep in your existing workflow. You don't have to leave the workbench you're in. And now you can see these new notifications. And right now, uh, this is just a list of articles that we have hand selected to send down to feed users uh, so they can see new emerging issues. Uh, we published this new one on uh, the Microsoft Zero Day just this week. Um, and so as soon as they wrote it, we put it into feed and that started showing up uh, about 15 minutes later. So we're really excited to be able to take uh, the process of getting information from our community to something like we publish it. We have to wait for people to go to community to see it. So now we can like push the really important stuff down to you, uh, which is just super exciting. Oh yeah, that is, that is so exciting because you know there's so many people. It, part of their daily workflow is not to go check community.tanium.com. You know we no. put lots of great information out there, but they're not looking at it every day. So here now in the console, and like you said, 15 minutes later, this shows up in your Tanium console. I mean that that's Tanium speed, right? I think in the publishing world, it's not 15 seconds, but 15 minutes. I'll take that. In the publishing world, that's pretty fast. Mm -hmm. So now we can get that notification to our console operators. Hey, look, you need to, if you haven't heard the news, you need to take a look. And if you have, here's how to use Tanium specifically for these uh, emerging issues. And it looks like there's some other types of knowledge in that uh, notification as well. Yeah. So right now uh, we have emerging issues information. We have general announcements, uh, you know, things that we just want to tell you about new product releases, new feature releases that are really interesting that people should pay attention to. We have some really big plans for this in the future. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to and sort of on our, our plans to tackle soon are, you know, how can we pair a 
vulnerability announcement with giving you an actual dashboard to take you straight to a view of how exposed your customer is. Uh, how can we like take you to a safe question to say like, how many endpoints do I have that have the versions of this software that are vulnerable? Uh, so we think we've got a lot of great opportunities to not just bring you to an article where you can read about how to do it, but we can actually do, you know, pivot to action, uh, take you to a report that lets you see your exposure. And then hopefully from that report, take you straight to doing something to fix it. Uh, and I think that's really going to change the game on how we can help our customers get better and do the most important thing every day when they come to work. Yeah. Especially in it where people are just over, uh, I shouldn't say overwork necessarily, but they've got a long to do list. They got 10 things to do and they can only got enough time to do three of them. Mm -hmm. So uh, here now they can see this notification. And if they see that, and I, I notice there's even color coding here, I'm guessing that's on criticality. So they can just at a glance see what's burning literally right now as far as things they should uh, take care of. And and you know what I'm thinking also, I, I can see this happening, Andy, where the team console operator, whether an ops or security, whatever risk, whatever their role is, they get that critical notification and they can go ahead and run the report so that by the time the org chart is standing in their cube asking for data, they can or just hand it to them, say, here it is. And they can proactively start to serve their organization because Tanium is helping them to be on top of things really quick. That, that That's speed and scale right there. Yeah, like, I, 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 you know, I think if we want to make the people who use Tanium look like rock stars every day, uh, giving them the report that their boss is going to ask them for, you know, like having the report in their feed uh, before their boss asks them for it uh, is a great a great way to make them look like rock stars in their organization. Uh, and that's what I love to do for our users is, is make them look like rock stars. Yeah, well, I noticed there's a go to community article button there. Uh, let's yeah. take it over. Sure. Uh, over so, the community. you know, these just give you a, a link straight out to our success community, which if you're not coming here, uh, you know, there's a lot of great information there. Um, and so, you know, right now you can follow this and this, you know, once you're here, you can read the full breakout of the CVE and what we need to do with it. Uh, a lot of these emerging issues, uh, articles will give you these safe questions that you can go back and build that. Uh, I think we'll have the opportunity to say, hey, let's package this, this safe question up right with um, the feed entry. And then like, you won't have to come and copy this, copy and paste it. We'll just give you a link straight to the, uh, straight to the question, uh, which I think will be awesome. I'm look, really looking forward to building that next. Oh, and you know what? Maybe one, day, just one day, maybe one day, I drop a new episode of the Gotanium Tech Talks, and there's a link in the notifications. I'll, I'll put a vote for that one. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. We we could use more of this show to all of our customers. Yeah, fantastic. Well, Andy, uh, um, the, you yeah, know, the I, other oh, there's I got one more piece here, and yeah. so the notification tray is great for giving you like the new things you come in. We also have this activity log, uh, which is going to show you all of the notifications that come in. So you have the ability to dismiss things out of your notification tray. So like, yeah, I got it. I know it's there. And then you could come back and be like, oh, I actually need to come and reread that dirty pipe article. Um, let me let me come back to that later. So things are not, the, they don't get lost, but you have a place to come in and sort and filter all the items that are important to you uh, later on. Nice. So we're using some, we've got plenty of real estate up there at the top of the console to put more widgets. And so now we've got a new activity link there. Fantastic to get that bigger view. So Andy, I know uh, there's somebody watching the show right now and they're wondering, okay, I like this. How soon can I get it? And do I have to install something? Do I have to do anything to make this work? Uh, so what's the answer for the people that want to know, how can I get this right now? Yeah. So this will be a new uh, a new feature for the console. Everyone in cloud will get this automatically. So this will start appearing in cloud environments. Uh, we're testing it with some, some customers who've given us early interest. Uh, one way to get on my early interest list is we have a uh, community article in the show notes. Uh, and at the bottom of that community article is a link to a survey that you can take. That is like five questions. Uh, and if you answer my five questions and, and ask for a follow-up call, you will sort of go to the front of my line for uh, people to get early access. So that's a great thing to do. And then the, uh, 
we're going to get it out to on-prem as quickly as we can. We, we are, it is early and we're getting feedback on it. So we're making some adjustments. I, I don't have a hard timeline quite yet, but I think a couple of weeks is a good bet. So the beauty of this show is we take your feedback, the, you right there in the chair watching this, we take your feedback and then we go make something awesome. Then we bring it to you on the show again. So Andy's done that with API Gateway. Now he's here with what's called Tanium Feed. Feed with a D, not with a T. It's not Tanium Feet. Tanium Feed, right? So Tanium Feed is there in the console with notifications. And now we're asking you in the chair right there, go on over to community.tanium.com or drop down into the show notes here. Click that uh, link over to the community article. S- scroll through, read it, get caught up, and then click that survey. Let us know what you would like to see uh, with this feature. Because again, uh, the more you tell us, the more goodness we have to come back and show you on the show like this. And I know uh, you might even win a Zoom call with Andy one-on-one to give him your feedback, right? You can, you can get a, a celebrity interview with the man himself. He's a YouTube legend. He's been on two shows now. So you can get to meet Andy uh, as he uh, wants to hear from you more about your feedback. So uh, please take us up on that offer. We'd love to hear from you. Well, Andy, this is a great feature, and I know it's something that we've been wanting to announce for a long time. I I couldn't wait for us to finally get here to this day, so thank you. Anything else before we wrap up? No, I think uh, just please go go take the survey, uh, give us your feedback, and we are really, I'm really excited about how quickly we've built this. I've had a great team of engineers and uh, TAMs that have given me support on it, but uh, we are really looking forward to getting this into customer environments and helping to, to close the loop on how fast we can help them. So, All right. Well, thank you so much. Like I said, this is the little things count a lot. It's a little thing, but I think you're really going to like it a lot. And I, I, I'd, I'd like to know from you, you know, send us an email, go at tenium.com as well. Let us know what you think and uh, other ideas you'd like to see on the show, or if you would like to be a guest on the show as a customer, send us a note at goatanium.com. Also, don't forget, uh, converge.tanium.com. Go out there and check out the dates. Book those on your calendar now and send us a session proposal. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, We're collecting those right now here in the next month or two so that we can build out that agenda for all the, the goodness that our customers have to share with one another and with us. We'd love to hear from you there. Also, don't forget that hands-on hunting workshop coming up on June 21st. Go out to teenium.com slash events, sign up for hands-on hunting. And finally, go back to that community article that's in the show notes below and let us know uh, through that survey link what you'd like to see here in the Tanium feed feature. So thanks again to our guest, Andy. And until next time, go Tanium. 